In this video, we explore the Dell PowerEdge R250, a compact 1U server that remains available for purchase from Dell. Notable features include its recent design, warranty coverage, and lightweight build. These servers are ideal for wall-mounted rack enclosures alongside network equipment. This particular unit supports four hot plug hard drives. Most Dell R250 servers come with dual hardwired hard drives. Our build includes an Intel Xeon E2324G CPU, two 4 terabyte Dell Enterprise hard drives in RAID 1, a Dell Boss storage card with two 240 gigabyte NVMe cards in RAID 1, Dell Perk H345 RAID controller and four 16 gigabytes memory modules. Remember to use ECC unbuffered memory modules, as registered memory is not supported. In summary, the Dell PowerEdge R250 offers efficiency, reliability, and a compact form factor, a versatile choice for various business needs. The server cover has been removed, allowing access to the internal components. We've successfully installed two 4 terabyte hot plug hard drives, a straightforward process involving sliding them in and locking the lever. The unit features a 450 watt hardwired power supply. We have not seen hot plug power supplies for the Dell R250 and are not sure if there is such an option. This server includes a riser card that supports two half height cards. Our configuration involves installing a RAID card on the left side and a Dell Boss card on the right side. Keep in mind that a RAID card cable is necessary for this installation. We installed the RAID controller on the left side and the Dell Boss card on the right side of the riser. Additionally, we installed the CPU and applied Arctic Silver Ceramic II thermal compound. This CPU is remarkably compact and power efficient, necessitating only a minimal amount of thermal compound. The Dell R250 supports four memory slots, and we will install four 16 gigabyte memory modules, resulting in a total of 64 gigabytes. Here's the view of the server from the back. On the left side, there is a serial port, SVGA port, iDRAC port, two one gigabit ports, and two USB ports. On the right side is the wired power supply. We completed the full assembly of the system, and all components are functioning as anticipated. Windows Server 2022 was installed, aligning with the preference of most of our customers. We highly recommend this system configuration for use as a firewall, with PFSense being an excellent choice. Additionally, you can leverage it to run a voice over IP system as a virtual machine and set up a domain controller server with file server capabilities. The system boasts ample memory and storage. And while the current CPU should suffice, there's room for upgrading to a faster processor if needed. I'm